Hello everyone, it is me Mr. Fossil and I am back here with a new video for you guys. Today I would like to show you guys some stuff that I've been collecting down while working at the boat ramp for the past few weeks. This unfortunately may be the last installment of my Forging by the River series which has been common throughout the summer here on my YouTube channel. You see, this weekend was meant to be the last weekend that I worked there before closing for, down for the fall. However, the weather decided to say otherwise. As you can tell, all weekend it's been cloudy and also on and off showers. Not a good day to bring out your boat or jet ski. So as you can tell, I've been stuck in the house. But without further ado, let's go over this final haul for this summer of things that I found by the boat ramp while foraging. So, for, so first up, we have some feathers and some bat nut seeds. So without further ado, let's have a closer look at these items. So here are the bat nut seeds. I've been finding these almost every week down at the boat ramp. I have plenty of them. You've seen these before in my videos. I don't know how many I have right now, but I have a whole bunch. But these are pretty cool. But yeah, bat nut seeds. Very cool. Next, we have a common staple that you've seen in my videos. Feathers. I love collecting feathers. First, we have this curled brown feather. I don't know what it's from. It could be from a seagull or maybe a duck. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. What bird is this from? The rest of the feathers here are all seagull feathers. Seagulls are very common down there. We have plenty of different species, as you can tell. We have this nice brown speckled feather. It has like the white with the pattern with the dot, polka dots on it. This one's very nice. Look at that. Very nice specimen indeed. Next, we have this small grayish white one. Again, very nice specimen. Next we have this gray one. The tip of it is like a dark grayish black and the rest of it's like a light gray as you can tell. But this one's very nice too. Next we have this one. This is like a whitish color with some brown on it. This one's very nice too. I like when I find very nice feathers. A lot of them I find are like all like squished and all smeared. But when I find feathers like this or that are like perfect pristine, I know to take them. Very, very nice specimen. This one is also a gray feather with the light gray and also the black grayish tip there, the dark tip, but it's a much bigger version. Probably from the same species. This one is very nice. So here are the two feathers for comparison. Like you can see, like there's the light gray, there's the black tip up there, and then there's the blackish gray color there. So they're probably from the same species. Not the same individual bird, but you know, the same type of seagull. Next, we have this very peculiar find. This isn't just one feather, but a cluster of feathers. And the reason I say this is peculiar is because if you look very closely, there's some bone in there. This I found where there once was a seagull carcass. 
And weeks later, I went by and the carcass was gone and I found this piece here. Obviously, you know, the bones have been dried out by the sun. So I decided to take this little cluster of feathers that are connected together by bone. Very nice find. I had to take it with me. Very peculiar. I had to take this with me. I had to. But yeah, guys. A cluster of seagull feathers with the bone still attached. Very, very unique find. That is all for this lot, so now let's move on to the next. My next lot of stuff is very, very unique compared to the other lot I've showed you before. Here we have an assortment of fish bones and a blue crab carapace. So without further ado, let's have a closer look at these specimens. So here is the blue crab carapace. I find blue crab shells very often down there. A lot of them are either broken or are from babies. I mainly find the small ones and I take them home. I've shown them here on the channel before, but this is the first big one I found that is intact, as you can tell. I like collecting crab carapaces. Blue crabs are the primary crab there. I don't see any shore crabs or rock crab shells, which is unfortunate. But eh, this is a good find, because you know it's intact, and it's the first big one that I found that's like this. Very nice find. Next we have the fish bones. Now these bones probably all came from the same individual fish. The reason for this is, for this is because there was a dead fish out on the ramp being eaten by seagulls one day, and then, like, the next day after that, I find all these bones there. All, like, in the mud, washed along the ramp, and in the water. So I decided to take as many as I can that were at least clean. So let's have a closer look at these fish bone specimens. First up, we have this thing here. This, I speculate, probably was part of the skull of the fish. This probably was probably, like, most likely part of the jaw. I think, I'm not too sure, I'm not somebody who studies fish, not sure what the species is, but if you can tell, you know, let me know in the comments below. Very nice specimen. Next we have something that looks like a fin here. I'm not sure what exactly it is. Like I said, again, I don't study fish, so I don't know their anatomy well, but it does look like a fin with these spines on it. Next, we have this vertebrae, which was intact, so I decided to take it with me. It was clean and intact. Next, we have this thing. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, I don't know what this belonged to, like what part of the body of the fish this was from. Like a fin or something. I'm not really sure at all. But yeah, guys, um, I'm not sure what kind of fish this was from, but if you guys know, like, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you guys can help, please help me identify some of the bones, like this part here and that part over there, or all the bones in general. It would be of great assistance, you know. I like to learn new things, and I'm just curious. But yeah, guys, these are all the items that I found for the past few weeks down by the boat ramp. A very big haul, as you can tell. But as I said before, this is the basically the last time you'll be seeing these foraging adventures for the boat ramp for the summer. Like I said, I only work there during the summer. But we found a lot of things down there, from feathers to bones to walnuts to bat nuts to shells, many things. Now, even though I won't be foraging down there for the rest of the year, probably until next summer, that's if I work there next summer, that doesn't mean you won't be seeing any foraging content on this channel. You know, I like collecting stuff wherever I go. You know, out in the woods, you know, at college, my backyard. So who knows what I'll find? You know, if I ever go down to the beach, maybe I'll show you what I'll find down there. If I ever go rock hounding in the woods again, I might show you guys what I find down there. But um, stay tuned for more of those videos, guys. You know, it was it's a it's been a very 
long journey. And I'm glad that I found all this stuff. You know, I'm proud to love the natural world and I'm proud that I have a hobby I enjoy. But you know, guys, it is now time to say goodbye to that for now. To foraging down at the boat ramp. But foraging will still live on. So um, thank you all for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I hope you all have a good day and stay safe and well. Bye, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.